Walt Disney Pictures presents a very special look at the making of The Rescuers Down Under. For the Disney animated films, we, we can go. transport our audiences to magical, mythical, fanciful places that exist only in the minds of our artists. And that's part of the wonder of animation. The Rescuers Down Under is Disney's first ever animated sequel. Simply wonderful. Set in the rugged outback of Australia, it's an action-adventure tale that began taking shape here at the Disney Studios in Hollywood, where 500 artists have created the over one million drawings it takes to produce a Disney full-length animated feature film. In the process of starting The Rescuers, the sequel was easy because we had such great characters. The Rescuers Down Under reunites the voice talents of Ava Gabor as Bianca. You are a darling. And Bob Newhart as Bernard. Duty calls. And introduces George C. Scott as the villainous McLeach. No more Mr. Nice Guy. And John Candy as Wilbur the Albatross Airliner. Throw another shrimp on the Barbie girls. Here I come. Once the voices have been recorded, Disney artists begin the painstaking process of bringing the sketches to life. It's an action-adventure film that's just awesome. Visually, it's going to be probably the most stunning animated film we've ever done. I think we're on a big, big upswing in terms of, of people's understanding that animation is a wonderful form of entertainment. Over four years in the making, The Rescuers Down Under becomes the latest Disney full-length animated motion picture.